a little bit of AP calculus this morning. Um, been thinking about questions that show up so much on the exam, and they're so easy, but we don't practice them enough. So I thought <clears throat> that we would go through today, practice a little bit of the easy stuff, because what I've figured out about a lot of uh, college calculus and AP cal calculus exams is there are a lot of easy points that people drop because we're so focused on the really difficult stuff. So let's take a question like this one that says, given that f of 3 is equal to negative 1, and this should say, this should say f prime. So this is prime f. Let me see if I can do this better. And f prime at 3 is equal to 5. Find the equation for the tangent line to the graph of y equals f of x at x equals 3. There's a lot of crap written there. A lot of stuff for us to think about, but we're overthinking it. All I'm thinking is this. I'm thinking this. I'm thinking, one, a key tool in calculus is point-slope theorem because it goes to this tangent line problem, which is one of the big problems in calculus. And all it says is that if we have one point, if we have one point on a line and the slope, we can plug this in and we can find the equation specific to that line. And we do. We have the point 3, don't we? 3, right, 3, negative 1. And that, we're going to let that be our x sub 1, y sub 1 values. <clears throat> and we, most importantly, we have the slope. I, I know I underlined this and you were like, no, slope's over here. We have the slope for that corresponding x value. So we have f of 3 and we have the slope at 3. <clears throat> so the slope at 3, right, f prime at 3 is equal to 5. What this says clearly is that when the x value of our function that we're looking at is 3, its slope, its slope, not its corresponding y value, its slope is 5. Now, somebody's going to argue and say, well, the, slope, the y value of the derivative. I agree, but I'm talking about the function. So all I'm going to do here is fit, but I'm just going to fill in the blanks. This is really straightforward, and I hope you're taking this seriously and not uh, brushing this off too quickly, because this is the kind of stuff that people miss on the multiple choice part of the exam, and it's worth half of the exam. So we have y minus our, our y sub 1 value is negative 1. I want you to remember that. This is also a common mistake, right? It says here, this negative sign right here, let me do that again. This negative sign right here, formulaically, is this one right here. This negative sign is because our y value have to be a negative number. And if you're going, duh, yeah, I'm sorry, but I just want to be sure. And we know that at this x value, the slope is 5. So it's 5 times x minus that 3 that we had here. And this 3 right here is this one, isn't it? So all I've done, if we take a quick look back, is steal what we already knew. So let me just go back over this really quickly and say this 5 is this one. Right? That's that slope value. We have the slope is that. All I did was take some basic algebra and apply some rudimentary calculus to it, and here we are on victory lane. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit. A lot of professors will ex will accept your answer in this form, 5x. Uh, actually, they'll accept your answer in this form, just to have it clear. A lot of them will accept your answer in this form, 5x minus 3 minus 1. I, this turned into a positive, so I had to get it out of there by making it negative. But we can finish this math up, and we can do it by distributing here and here. Some professors really want to see this thing cleaned up all the way, so 5x minus 15 minus 1. So the equation that we're looking for here is y is equal to 5x minus 16. And I think that's good math, isn't it? Okay, so again... This is the kind of the overlooked calculus. So let's be careful not to overlook that. We need all of our points. Um, I know you guys are going to be fantastic mathematicians, so thanks for hanging in there with me. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And if you have comments, go ahead and share them with me. Try not to talk about my mom, but other than that, do your thing. Thanks.